Many Americans are in the process or either saving or spending money to get married. Mazel tov. The debate is on about the price tag, though, of that special day. A new poll says a picture-perfect wedding will set you back more than $42,000. This includes an open bar and a live band for about 100 guests. So, DBL Nation, how much should a wedding cost, and is it worth it? Tommy from Facebook says, I don't believe weddings should cost more than a grand. I got happily married for less than that. Uh, Tommy, you know, I don't like to tell people how they should spend their money. For some people, their wedding day is going to, is, is the biggest day of their life. It's always going to be the biggest day of their life. For other people, it's just important that they say I do to the person that they want to be married to. And they're going to have bigger moments that they'll enjoy in a different way. So it's really up to the person. And I'm not judging just please don't invite me to any more weddings. <laughs> <laughs> or at least don't ask me to stand up in yeah. Okay, I'll go, but don't ask me to stand yeah, up. Don't ask I'm me to stand Lord. up. Shell from Facebook says, I think we spent $200 for the license and rings. You get married to build a Aww. life with someone you love, not debt. Shell, that's a great answer. Listen, I think everyone knows how I feel. If you didn't know, I got married in the courthouse. We couldn't afford a big wedding. We were looking at it. We were in Mexico, and by the time we had a price set, it at least doubled while we were in Mexico. Because, like, you don't want the big dance for it. You don't want these flowers. Everything's an upsell. And it takes the love right out of it. Trust me, I went through it. Save your money for something bigger. Save it for a nice ring. Save it, save it for a down payment on the house. But if that's you, go go, go spend your money. I'll come drink some free drinks. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hannah from Facebook says, I got married for less than a grand and it was perfect. Just close family and a few friends in a garden. Plus, my grandfather married her. Aww. Married us. Uh, Hannah, that's that's wonderful that's what what a, what a great I'm, I'm sure situation that was I'll just say this I don't know how old Hannah is but I think when it's somebody's first wedding especially if it's a younger person or younger people I think you've dreamed of that day for a long time and you might set your I'm sure everybody walks in with a budget but then you're like well if we're gonna spend 10 we're gonna spend 12 if we're gonna go 12 why not 13 5 13 5 might as well 15 that's I'm the cap you, and then it's 17 mine so doubled. it's just like yeah so I, I you know it, you, you were we're lucky in that you guys both agreed on the courthouse, but if one person's like, I need this to be my special day, you might have to break out that checkbook. Just for the record, she was pregnant, yeah. so yeah. went to the courthouse. There we go. <laughs> Lawson made Lawson that decision. Lawson helped me. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Put that towards us. Get him a nice car for that. Yeah, that's true. Chris from Facebook says, spend what you and your fiance are comfortable with, but you should never go into debt for a wedding. Great point, but the problem is, as Jeff said, when I got married, everything was at least 5% higher than what I expected. And I mean everything, from the flowers to the confetti to the sparklers. And I wanted a really big wedding, and I was like, this is out of control. So go easy. Think of succulents, burlap. Cheaper materials can help keep a budget down. I might do a podcast. Did you say burlap? Yeah. What like a boho that? burlap around mason jars with lavender. Now I know less. I don't know what is, I don't know any of those words. Sparklers? Yeah, when, the, Ooh, when we left. Yeah. No, like little beautiful sparklers.